Welcome back. South African athlete Casta Semenya has lost a landmark case against the athletics governing body, meaning it will be allowed to restrict hormone levels in female runners. The Court of Arbitration for Sports rejected the 28-year-old's challenge against the IAAF's new rule, but the court says it has serious concerns as, the future, as to the future's practical application of the regulation. In response, the Olympic 800-meter champion, Semenya, says, quote, for a decade, the IAF has tried to slow me down, but this has actually made me stronger. This decision of CAS will not hold me back. I will once again rise above and continue to inspire young women and athletes in South Africa and around the world. Now she and other athletes will with differences of sexual development must either take medication in order to compete in track events from 400 meters to the mile or change to another distance. Now, the United States government has thrown its weight behind the Silek Initiative's campaign in its fight against drug and opiate abuse in Nigeria. Founder, president of the not-for-profit organization, Sunny Irapel, recently participated in the U.S. International Leadership Exchange Program of the U.S. Department of State. The program, which is held yearly, has seen over 5,000 participants trained in leadership to help solve human challenges. The program also helps develop uh, a pool of young leaders in developing countries and share ideas among their counterparts in the United States. Mr. Sonny Irapo joins us live in the studio to tell us more about his campaign. Thank you so much for joining us on Network Africa, especially on May Day. Well, first Thank of all... Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. First of all, Nigeria is plagued with quite a number of issues. Why did you decide to involve yourself in the fight against drug abuse in the country? Firstly, let me congratulate every, every Nigerian worker for the hard work they've demonstrated in making sure that Nigeria works for every one of us. And I want to strongly advise that we must live in moderation because for every one dollar you spend in negative, such as drug abuse, you spend three dollars for treatment. So on this day, we should recognize that staying healthy yeah. is the best way to go. Coming to your question, you said, what inspires me? Yes. To Why did you out choose this drug abuse in Nigeria? Well, the damages it has done to the lives of promising Nigerian youth. For example, in 2010, when we started, the young guys, people that we left the same secondary school, before I came back from the university, they were deeply hooked in drugs. And as I speak with you today, many of them remain. So the, my drive was that inspiration, the, the young people, the apprehension I have about the dangers of drug abuse and the damages it has done to promising Nigerian youth. And I feel that, hey, if I fold my arms, a lot of young people will pass the same way. Why not take up the responsibility so that we can address these fundamental issues that is confronting young people. So for me, I felt that I should contribute my little quota to the development of Nigeria. And it is our own country. We don't have any other country. And the youth, we, we occupy a larger percentage of over 50 to 60, even to 70 percent of young people. Mm -hmm. And for we to actually develop Nigeria, we need young people. We need this demographic so that we can fix Nigeria. In the world, if you want to measure any type of development, yeah. you don't use old people. You use young people like me to measure the development well, of a country. Yeah, one of the things that you're already a big aim of is that you recently participated in the U.S. International Leadership Exchange Program of the U.S. Department of State. Yeah. How were you able to get that opportunity and what was that experience like? Well, let me use this medium to appreciate everyone who have contributed to my life, especially to the Silek Initiative. The likes of uh, Dele Momodu, Banks of Michel Ray, the, 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 all of them, they supported me to make sure this dream doesn't die. And I've been using the social media, so the U.S. government, they've been following my work on the social media. They say, hey, how can we be of support? And through Bank Commissioner, which I'm grateful to you if you're listening to me, I'm grateful to you for giving me this platform, you know, to 
actually exchange this international idea on how we can position Nigeria. And remind, let me remind you that over 40 to 50 percent of young people are deeply engaged in drug abuse. And if we must well, solve what, the what problem message, of drug what abuse, what message do you have to the youths that are involved in drug abuse? The message we are telling every young people is this. How can they get themselves out of that situation? The point is, every, every situation, every tense situation, there is a positive aspect of you that you must recognize. And the point is, you don't need to go into drugs before you can do any kind of business or before you can live well. Yeah. You must come out of this thing because the nation needs you for we to develop. The nation needs you for we to, to move to the next stage. So going in the way of drug abuse is not the best. So we are advising you that please stay away of drugs because yeah. if you are hooked, you are hooked. For you to come out is very difficult. Sure. For my message to young Nigeria is that let's come together to make sure we fix Nigeria. And Nigeria needs you right now so that we can move to the next level. Very good message, Mr. Sunny Irapo, founder or select. Thank you so much for spending your time on us. Thank you so today. much for having me. Thank you. Moving on now, Egyptians are embracing the country's beautiful deserts through the lens of art and cinema. A new outdoor movie theatre accompanied by bonfires, music and tradition of food has paved the way for an opportunity to enjoy the country. Take a look. As the sun sets on the Egyptian desert, the glares from a projector screen of a makeshift cinema presents a new concept for moviegoers. The outdoor movie theater was set up to appeal to people who love both the cinema and the desert, said founder Hani Amir. I decided to do something nice that people can gather around rather than just coming out here for dinner or a fire than leaving. In the winter, the moviegoers will come with their sleeping bags to keep warm while watching the movie and the change of atmosphere is what makes it special. The desert is amazing. I think everyone should come. Um, I know it's cold, but it's really nice. But other than watching a movie, the venue offers various social activities, making use of the vast desert terrain. Folklore groups from Upper Egypt sometimes present shows, and people can also enjoy the music shows held at the venue. For one family, the desert is also just the right place to celebrate two birthdays. Gathered among family and friends, Malika al Shubagi held both her son and daughter's birthdays under the moonlight. She says she picked this location to show her children the beauty of nature in Egypt. And that's it on the program today. Happy May Day once again. I'm Tenyola Shubawali. Bye for now.